Hello everybody, welcome along to another one of these photo speed videos with myself, Sam Gregory. Now, recently uh, I mentioned in a video that I was gonna talk about Lightroom print module and specifically how to print multiple images on one page in an easy and organized fashion and also uh, how to export those to JPEG. Just a really quick, simple tip. Now, the reason I've done this is I've had multiple people on workshops and comments and questions through my website, etc of how do you do that? <laughs> uh, because the Lightroom print module can be a little bit of a painful thing to navigate. So hopefully I've sorted out a straightforward way to do this for you. And I'm gonna talk about a couple of the other ways which I think are more painful uh, and, and why to avoid them. So we'll just be five or so minutes. It's a nice quick one today, nice easy tip for you. And just stick around with me till the end because I'm gonna have a little bit of a voucher code for you as well on the paper. But without any further ado, let's get into today's video about Lightroom print module and printing multiple images as easily as you possibly can. Okay, so here we are in Lightroom and the first thing you have to do is create a collection, as you can see over here on the left hand side, with just the images in that you want to print on this particular piece of paper or that you want to export in this fashion uh, as a JPEG. So you can do that just by doing the create collection if you haven't done that before or if you've already got one just drag the images in so the main thing is that you need that collection sorted out first then if you jump to the print module uh, what you'll find is if it's like me uh, you you may have a template already up but this is i've tried to just clear to be the kind of base thing that you would find there's a couple of things you need to do one, uh, leave it on the single image contact sheet. I'm going to talk about the custom package and the picture package briefly afterwards, but let's just look at how to do it. You need to leave it on that, and you also need to select uh, all three of the images. Now, don't worry if just one comes up. At this point, we've got a slight issue that the page is in a vertical orientation, and obviously we want to put these three left to right, so you have to go to page setup, and just change that to the sort of landscape orientation and press OK. Now you'll see you've still only got one of your images and it's quite small there in the middle and that isn't what we want. And how this is all controlled is here in this layout area. You've got page grid rows and page grid columns. Now rows is gonna be obviously left to right rows like this and columns is you need to think vertically or and how many quantity is that. So. If I do three, you're going to see that these three images are going to pop into a line just like we want them. However, that isn't how we want it to print. That's quite small, isn't it? So what we can do is uh, just increase the size of the cell and you can keep going up there by eye. Now, once you get to a certain point as they crash into each other, it won't let it go past that. It won't let it get any bigger. My advice is you can either just stop here and do that by eye. So for example, you know, you can, you've can you got a rough feel for the gap between those three, or you can just go and go past on the size, so it's past it, and then introduce a little bit of a gap. And one centimeter is quite a nice one. Now what you'll see though is it's feeling a little bit pinched on the top or the left and the right here. So what I tend to go in is just go and sort out my margins couple of centimetres there, a couple of centimetres there, and I leave the top and the bottom uh, as they are because they're not obviously affecting this in the left to right. So what we can see here is that our three have now become this really cool little panel. And if you added more rows, uh, you could obviously have another set of three underneath, but you would need to put those other three into the collection so that you could drag them in. Now, one uh, question might be, how do I change which uh, what the order is? There's a couple of ways to do it. You could jump back into your library collection and move the images around in there, or you can do it here in the print module. What you just have to do though is uh, unselect the images so they're not all highlighted, and then drag them into the order that you want and reselect them, and it will put them into that order. So just click out, move, and then reselect. And there's your three and they're ready to print. And uh, you could just go down here now and print this using your normal custom profile management. Hopefully you have, if you want any print adjustments, you know, whatever it might be as well. 
But I did mention that you can actually export this to a JPEG easily, and you would do that at this stage once you've done everything else. You can simply go to print job and then printer, and you can click JPEG file, uh, and you can change the resolution to whatever you might want. You can change any of the sharpening, uh, and you can change the quality levels. And then down here, uh, I would leave the profile management as sRGB if it's for the web, that's the best thing to do. And you would literally just go there, click print to file, and that would allow you to save it to your desktop or wherever else you might want to save it on your computer. Uh, but for now, uh, I would be printing it. Now I did mention that there are other ways, which I, I don't find quite as easy personally, and that can be the picture package or the custom package is one as well. Now you can see these I've had in before, let me just get rid of those. Let's say you just arrived on this custom package and you wanted to make a set of three here in the same way we have. Well, you can do that by knowing the aspect ratio of what you're using and finding it here and adding one of those in and you can then make that smaller or larger. But unless you hold shift, it's just gonna lose the aspect ratio. So I don't like that part of it. Let's just put it in. If you hold uh, that down, obviously you can keep that aspect ratio the same, so that's okay. The issue I have with this particular way of doing it is how do you know everything's in line and how do you know you've kept the gaps the same? Because if I add another one there, I have to kind of roughly guess that looks about right. And if you've got cell snap on, uh, grid snap, sorry, up here, then it will be close and you can nudge it two or three steps either way and you could do that as well. But for me, it just feels fiddlier than it needs to. It's more likely to go wrong. I'm more likely to not quite get it central, uh, for example. And so for this particular method, I would always recommend the single image contact sheet. It's way easier. You can't get the aspect ratio wrong. It doesn't crop into your aspect ratio uh, and it's very simple to organize uh, as I've alluded to here. Now, without any further ado, I'm going to print this and I'm going to print another one uh, showing six images, which obviously uh, I'll just run through now as well. And uh, then we'll have a final chat before we finish up today's video. Now you can see here, I've put these six images into our collection folder here, and I'm not going to delete these just yet, but if we go over to print, uh, what you'll find is it's only looking at these six because I had them selected, but obviously it's only showing the three because the last time we were in here, um, it, it, we just had three printed. Now, as I alluded to, what I find really useful about this is you don't have to faff about with the aspect ratio, uh, holding it down to retain that. It just it knows they're squares. It puts them in squares straight away. But what we do need is two rows of them, and that is going to allow us to put the six images in there. And obviously, if you have nine or 12 or whatever it might be, you can adjust this page grid rows and columns accordingly. Uh, and I would then jump off and either print them to a JPEG and put them up online or physically print them onto the paper. And that's what I'm gonna do here. Okay, so hopefully you can see that's a fairly straightforward and quick way uh, to easily print your images, keeping the aspect ratio, keeping the size without trimming in, uh, and just keeping the images, as I say, in uh, their integral uh, layout. Now, I find this really useful for presentation. You could easily frame this and put it up on the wall. It would look uh, hopefully nice if you like the images. Um, but there are other times where, like I say, you might want to do more images, uh, either as a presentation or uh, for for a way to hard proof, I would say, uh, a particular image set before you maybe went on and printed each one of these at full size. So I do sometimes do that as well. And as mentioned, you can easily save the JPEG and that way uh, you've got a really cool way to quickly put images together and upload them to your social media channels, your website, your blog, whatever it might be. Hopefully that has been useful. Do stay subscribed to the PhotoSpeed channel for more videos about photography, about printing, and about little tips and tricks like this as well. Uh, and I will speak to you again very soon.